Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the soft start for camper and RV air conditioners. What would be some of the reasons why we would want to put a soft start on our air conditioner? Well, let's say we're hooked into shore power, or maybe we're not, we don't have shore power and we want to use a generator. What an air conditioner does when it starts up, if we don't have anything to help it, is it kind of bogs down and then picks up because it's drawing a lot of power in order to get it running up to running to where it's actually blowing enough cold air. It's going to do the same thing with a generator. Adding this on is going to allow the air conditioner to, to start much softer. What it's basically going to do is it's going to store power so that when you turn it on, it's going to kick on right away. It's going to start blowing cold air. We don't have that bog down or that wait time for it to get glowing. Now, another instance. Let's say we have two air conditioners on the top of our camper RV, but we only have 30 amp service. Typically, if you can only hook into 30 amp service, you can only run one air conditioner. However, adding one of these to one of the air conditioners, because it's gonna allow it to start much easier, will allow you to hook into 30 amp service and run both air conditioners. So what we're gonna do before we install the soft start is we're gonna get a couple of readings for you so that you can tell a difference from before it was installed to after it's installed. We have a meter here and what we did is I took an extension cord and we pulled out the power wire to it. We have it hooked to our main wire going into our camper. We're going to test it coming straight out of the wall and what we're looking for is to get a reading of what we're pulling out of the wall directly. So without our AC running we're at around 1.5. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna turn the air conditioner on and off about three times. And it's gonna go quick, but we're gonna see this is gonna spike up. And what we want is we wanna to try to find the highest reading. When we find the highest reading, that is gonna tell us how much our air conditioner is using or pulling to start. Now that we've got it installed, we're gonna go ahead and do the same test that we did before to see if we get any changes. Now after we put the soft start in place, tested it out, you can see significant difference between the first test we did and the second one with the soft start in place. First test, tested it out at about 15. Second test, with the start or the soft start, tested it at about nine. So we have quite a bit of a difference there. Air conditioner is not gonna run quite as hard or it's not gonna use as much energy to get started running. For those of you that have been around campers and RVs, know when you turn on the air conditioner, the compressor kicks on and it kind of shakes the whole camper. Well, and the compressor is kind of noisy. For those of you that are new to it, the reason it does that is because the compressor needs so much energy in order to start the air conditioner. When it does that, again, shakes the camper, creates a lot of noise. What happens when we're sleeping at night? Middle of the night, air conditioner kicks on, compressor, shakes the camper, creates a lot of noise, waking up everybody in the camper. Adding the soft start, is not only going to reduce the noise that the compressor is creating, but it's also going to eliminate the camper shaking. Now, how does the soft start actually do that? Well, the soft start actually is gonna store power so that when our compressor kicks on, it's gonna give it kind of a boost. So the compressor is not gonna need as much to get the air conditioner started. You can see we didn't have that big noise coming from our compressor to get our air conditioner up and running. And we have cold air. Now, a couple of things that I want to point out. One, adding this on is also going to allow you to run air, one air conditioner off of 20 amp hookup at your house. Also, if you have an inverter, it's going to allow you to run up to two air conditioners. As far as the installation process, pretty straightforward. 
It's going to come with all the necessary hardware. The main unit itself is very lightweight, has five wires that you basically have to hook up. That's going to do it for a look at the self-start for camper and RV air conditioners.